So our Hydration Plus line is full of your hyaluronic acid. And what we're going to learn today is we're going to learn about the different strengths or the different depths of the hyaluronic acid and how that benefits our skin. With the Hydration Plus line, we can also use it with a sensitive for a sensitive client. And that because and that's because it's really focusing on strengthening the skin's barrier. It strengthens the skin's barrier, it's antibacterial, and it's focusing on reducing the redness. Okay, so we do have hydrofloor as well for strengthening uh, the skin's barrier. But keeping in mind with hydrofloor, your hydrofloor is formulated especially for um, expecting mums and sensitivity. But if you want something that's really hydrating, which is much more hydrating than hydrofloor, then the Hydration Plus line is for them. Okay, because the Hydration Plus line will focus on hydrating the skin all through the different layers, the epidermis, the dermis. It helps to really focus on um, increasing your, your natural hyaluronic acid within the skin. Okay. So where do our products come from? EcoCert CosmoBio. So EcoCert and CosmoBio is a certification body, the biggest certification body in Europe. And EcoCert and CosmoBio monitors skincare companies in regards to what we put into our products. So we are not allowed to have any artificial fragrances. We're not allowed to test on animals. Um, no chemical preservatives. Now, it's really important um, to, and I've sort of had this conversation with, uh, with Emma before, that when it comes, the, one of the big difference with our products is the fact that we are certified. And EcoCert and CosmoBio look, look after over 80 different countries. So if you have a client that says to you, um, do you have any, what was that question we had, Alicia? What was that question that we had the other day in regards to perfume? Oh, do we have, do we have synthetic perfume in our product? And instantly we should say, and we should understand that no, we do not because we are certified. So in Europe, the certification is a minimum of 95% certified ingredients and the remainder of 5% is from natural origin. Okay, so we are not allowed to have any nasties in there. And when it comes to a sensitive skin, it's very important that we don't have any artificial fragrances in there because that's when it will flare up the broken capillaries or the redness, the inflammation. It can make the skin itchy. And we're actually starting to get into winter now, which is where the biggest, most selling product in your clinic should be the Hydrofloor Beauty Oil because now is the time that the eczemas, the psoriasis, the dermatitis, the inflammation is all going to flare up. And why do you think that is? The weather change. Yeah, the weather change, but also heating. Heating's a big killer for a sensitive skin. So we need to be able to protect our skin. And that's what we're going to delve into with the Hydration Plus line also. So with our Hydration Plus treatment, sorry, Sarong, can I just get you to mute your uh, button, please? We can just hear moving around. Okay, there we go. Okay. So with our Hydration Plus line, we do have a specific facial treatment and we combined it with facial cupping. 
Now, this facial treatment is a great winter treatment. Reason being is because number one, it's going to help soothe a dry, itchy, sensitive skin. It's going to help to rebuild the skin's barrier. It is fantastic for dehydration, fine lines and mature skin. And that's just the product. Then we have, then we have our facial cupping and our facial cupping is another avenue to then help penetrate our active ingredients into the dermis. So it opens up a whole new channel. It's also quite a different experience for your client as well to experience the facial cupping. Has everyone, has anyone had facial cupping before? No, Emma, have you? No. no. Okay. Will be soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So this treatment benefits all skin types other than acne. Okay. So we're just going to delve in. We're just going to delve in to our different hyaluronic acids and the different molecular weights. In our products, we have three different molecular weights. Now, for example, our, our Hydration Plus Serum, that contains all three, but then you might find that our mask just contains two. And the reason being is because there's so many different um, benefits of whether we have a high molecular weight. Now, a high molecular weight is the most common molecular weight when it comes to hyaluronic acid. And what happens is with this high molecular weight, it just sits on the surface of the skin. It cannot penetrate. It forms a, a film on the top layer of the skin. And so therefore it helps to, it helps surface dehydration. So it helps to plump fine lines, wrinkles. Now, the problem with this high molecular weight is it's, it's not really, it's, it's not changing the skin. It's just sitting on the surface. And if we don't lock it in with other serums or emollients, it just evaporates. And that's why we need to be careful when it comes to skin needling. We need to look into when we're choosing a hyaluronic acid serum to skin needle, we need to look at, okay, well, what sort of molecular weight am I using? Because if you're just using a high molecular weight, it's not, it's just gonna evaporate. It's, it's not going anywhere. Then we have our medium molecular weight that travels down into the dermis. And this gives us our longer lasting hydration abilities. And then we have our low molecular weight that goes through all the different layers and it really focuses on changing, um, changing the skin and increasing your hydration. But not only your hydration, it's all about the structure of the skin as well. So when I say structure, you'll feel it tighten. Okay, it's all about increasing hydration and then it's all about tightening tightening your skin and keeping that structure where it needs to be. We're not going to do role play because obviously we don't have six hours. <laughs> but just going back over the benefits of Centella Asiatica. So we're going to dive into a few different um, ingredients. Number one, your hyaluronic acid. Number two, your Centella Asiatica, which is in every product. Emma's probably sick of hearing about uh, the benefits of Centella Asiatica. Never. <laughs> uh, because we do do it every training. Um, and then we're also going to focus on aloe vera and rosemary. So when it comes to Centella Asiatica, which is a herb, it is used to treat or to promote wound healing. So it is great at repairing scarring or burns. It focuses on strengthening our venous walls. So what that means is 
when we have lots of little broken capillaries or if we have um, broken capillaries on our legs or varicose veins, what that means is it helps to strengthen those capillary walls. And when we strengthen those capillary walls and the valves start to open and shut, then what happens is we increase our circulation and oxygen. So those clients that have a few little varicose, uh, broken capillaries and or starbursts, and then they normally have um, a ray of redness that comes with it from, from inflammation. What the Centella Asiatica does is it actually starts to strengthen that. It gets the valves opening and shutting. It increases blood flow and oxygen, and then it flushes it away from the surface. So we can actually start to reduce broken uh, capillaries. Scar reduction, it doesn't matter whether it's acne or surgical scars, whether it be um, a skin cancer removal, um, deep pitted acne scarring, we can reduce that. It's antibacterial. So this is really important, antibacterial properties if we have rosacea or if we have acne. Obviously, we love the fact that it stimulates collagen up to 251%. So it stimulate, stimulates type 1 collagen and type 2 collagen. Increases the lymphatic system, blood flow and oxygen. The reason why we get such a bright complexion when we, especially if we use the Centella Cream Cleanser and the Peeling All Skin Types, which is the exfoliant, it is because we're stimulating that lymphatic system. We're working on the inside as well as the outside. And most of all, Centella is all about promoting healing. And the way that it promotes healing is it increases the macrophages to our skin and then it starts that healing process. So if we have a client and she has rosacea, you know, it's all about reducing the inflammation, keeping that bacteria out of the rosacea, strengthening the skin's barrier. If we have acne, it's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory, it's going to stop the spread of the skin disease. If it's anti-aging, we're going to stimulate collagen up to 251%. We're going to increase our oxygen and blood flow to that area. So then when we do use our products, our skin can then absorb much quicker. So aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera juice is now in quite a lot of our products. Can anyone tell me what other product does aloe vera juice contain? What other product it contains? Yeah. What other product does aloe vera juice have in it, in our range? Oh, in your range. Um, is it hydrofall serum? Hydrofloor serum. I've, oh, let me check. I've got a manual here. That's not one I would have chosen, so I don't know that off the top of my head. But let me check, Emma. Okay. Hydrofloor firming serum. Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you were in the training room, I would have thrown a serum to you, and that would have been yours. Oh, damn it. I've oh, got it. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll bring it when I come to Sydney. Ready? You ready to catch it? Here it comes. <laughs> yes. Well done. Well done. Great. Aloe vera juice is also in our hibiscus gel cleanser. Oh, yeah. Yep. And the reason being that we now use a lot of aloe vera juice is because it has exceptional thirst quench quenching properties. So it really helps to improve the cellular cohesion of the skin barrier cells. So what that is means... Also, is it also a natural preservative? Yep, and it's an emollient. Yep. So it attracts water to the surface. 
and it is a natural preservative. Yep. But we use it because we want to rebuild that skin's barrier so we can then prevent losing even more water, especially if we're starting, you know, especially if we're like 35 and up, you know. Um, as we age, the skin's barrier gets thin um, and we lose a lot of moisture. So the aloe vera juice, it actually contains over 20 amino acids. It, it focuses on protects, protects the skin's transepidermal water loss. So it stops us from losing hydration. It also helps to inhibit the growth of bacteria. Because I would say, I move around to a lot of clinics and do promo days and that sort of thing and work, you know, I work on their clients. And, you know, I would say if I had eight clients that day, I would actually be treating seven of them for an impaired skin barrier. It's amazing because it's amazing how many clients do not have that protective layer over their skin. And that's why they're breaking out. That's why they've got rosacea. You know, that's why they're getting red little pustules, broken capillaries, you know, because there's nothing protecting them. So we really need to, you know, make sure that our clients are using products if they've got an impaired barrier that will then keep everything in and start, um, start promoting it. So aloe vera juice, antibacterial, antiseptic and promotes wound healing. Rosemary. Rosemary is also a natural preservative. Okay, who's going to win the next serum? Tina, I'm hoping it's you this time. Or it's got to be Sarong. What other product contains rosemary? Can we think what other product? It's one of our biggest selling products. Is that Hungry Water? Yes. Woohoo! You're on fire, Emma. Wow. Well done. All right, I'm, I'm throwing a chocolate to you now. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Rosemary um, is also in our Hungry Royal Water, which is our biggest selling product. And it is a natural preservative, but the reason why we're using it is because it contains bioflavonoids. Now, bioflavonoids really is a natural antioxidant, uh, sorry, antibiotic. It's a natural antibiotic for the skin. So it's going to help to promote healing. A bioflavonoid is also known as a vitamin P. Now, vitamin P helps your skin absorb more vitamin C. So it's like a little transporter, okay? So it helps with the absorption of vitamin C, but it also helps to stop the breakdown of collagen. So rosemary, natural preservatives, high in antioxidants, and is a natural skin's antibiotic. So that's why when we use the Hungry Royal Water, if our client has a breakout or if she's got rosacea um, or if her skin's really stressed and it's flared up, it's red, it's blotchy, you've got the magnesium that helps to fight the skin disease and reduce the inflammation. But then you've also got the rosemary and which is the rosemary is then your natural antibiotic. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. So hyaluronic acid. Obviously, our hyaluronic acid is found naturally within the skin. But as we age, it starts to decrease. Okay, so hyaluronic acid is found 
within the skin around 56% in the dermis. And what the hyaluronic acid does is it helps, it, it bonds to collagen on one side and then it bonds and links to water molecules on the other side. And that way it helps to then plump and hydrate. So natural hyaluronic acid that links to your collagen and then links to your water molecules is like a powerful inner moisturizer. Okay, because it's getting plump, it's getting hydrated, it's plumping up your collagen, it's plumping up the fine lines, and it's keeping the skin nice and spongy. Now, hyaluronic acid was first discovered by a biochemist of Cal Meyer and John Palmer in Colombia. And the way that they actually discovered hyaluronic acid were, was they were examining eyeballs of cows and they found that it was like a jelly-like matter, but it ma maintained its structure and shape. Now, obviously we don't use um, animal collagen, which, uh, sorry, hyaluronic acid, which we'll go into a little bit later. But I find it quite interesting that in 1932 was the first that they discovered the hyaluronic acid and how they tested it and trialed it. And when it was maintaining its structure and shape, we can understand now why it's so important for us to replenish our hyaluronic acid and keep our structure and shape within the skin. So why is hyaluronic acid so important? It's important because our hyaluronic acid decreases, our collagen decreases, our skin barrier becomes impaired. We, once our skin barrier becomes impaired, we have red blotchiness, we lose water, and then a lot of clients will then be, you know what, it doesn't matter what I use on my skin, my skin's so dehydrated. And the reason why it's so de dehydrated is because we don't have that protective film. Hyaluronic acid also attracts water to the skin. Um, once we're applying the hyaluronic acid to our skin, it is just as important to lock it in with our serums and our creams or our emollients. Otherwise, it just evaporates. So the benefits of our hyaluronic acid, they have antioxidant properties. So they help to even out skin tones. And if we think back to our stem cell double mask, you know, you're mixing your hyaluronic acid, your pure hyaluronic acid that also contains AHAs. You're mixing that with our powder, mixing it, and then we're applying it to the face. And that's helping to even out skin tones. Hyaluronic acid promotes wound healing, soothes inflammation, supports the natural skin barrier, and the obvious one increases hydration. So as I was saying in the beginning, we use a trio of hyaluronic acids, not just one that sits on that surface and then can't, can't penetrate. If we were to just use that first form of hyaluronic acid that just sits on the surface and doesn't penetrate, the skin will become plump and hydrated, but then the next morning, the skin will be exactly the same as it was before the facial. And one of the best things about Centella's treatments is the fact that when a client comes and has a Centella treatment, their skin still feels amazing a week or two weeks later. And that's because we're penetrating down into the dermis. So if we have a look at this young skin, you can see that with this diagram, 
The young skin, it's all plump, it's tight. She's got a great deal of hyaluronic acid in there. Okay, then we go to an aged skin. You can see that the wrinkles are starting to form. But check out the broken elastin, the broken collagen fibers, the hyaluronic acid. But then if you have a look at the diagram where we have an aged skin plus the hyaluronic acid, okay? So what that means is we're, like, we're able then to fill it back up. We're able to then start to uh, stimulate collagen fibers. We're plumping those fine lines and wrinkles. We're increasing the hydration. And we're also going to attract water from the environment as well, instead of it just dispersing. I'm sure you've, um, you know, in the mornings you put on your moisturizer, maybe not so in Sydney, but in Adelaide, Melbourne, probably, I'm not sure about Queensland, but I know in the mornings, you know, you, you do your, your skincare routine, you put your makeup on, and then you get to about two o'clock in the afternoon and your skin feels dry. You know, your crow's feet start to appear even more so. Um, and that's because we're losing water from our skin. If your skin is like that, keep spritzing uh, the hungry royal water and that will really help it. And those little fine lines will start to disappear again. So the hyaluronic acid, the trio of hyaluronic acid that we use plumps the fine lines and wrinkles. It decreases the depth after a four week period, it decreases the depth of the wrinkle by 40%. It also increases the skin's firmness up to 50%. And that's all due to the different levels of hyaluronic acid and our emollients plus our Centella Asiatica. Okay. Any questions on the hyaluronic acid? Tina? Actually, I do have a question. Um, is it the same um, with the same is it the same as acne pits with the wrinkle? Does, does it absorb the same way? So um, increasing the decrease of the wrinkles by 40%, could it, does it do that with the um, pitting as well? Or is it totally different? Uh, ah. Um, I would have to look that up. But from my knowledge, I would say it is different because the pitting, you know, is, is all around your scarring. Okay. So different molecules, but with the pitting, no, I would, I would have to double check. Okay. Because with those, with those results, they're scientific based. So they're clinical studies. Mm -hmm. but I would say that it's a different channel. So therefore the scarring would be a little bit different, but I would have to check. Yeah. Yeah, because that's not, that's not Centella saying it decreases the depth of wrinkle by 40%. Mm -hmm. That's on the clinical studies, which is from where the hyaluronic acid comes from. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, guys, on hyaluronic acid? Nope. Okay, so hyaluronic acid, we do not use, um, I'm just trying to move this around. We do not use animal-based hyaluronic acids. We, the hyaluronic acid that we use is plant-based because keeping in mind, we're certified organic, Cosmo Bio, largest certification body in Europe, would not uh, allow us to extract from a chicken or from a shark or from a cow. So we use plant-based um, hyaluronic acids. Okay. I think that's very important, especially because you'll have some clients ask you, especially because hyaluronic acid is a buzzword at the moment. And a lot of clients do know a lot about from what they read on hyaluronic acid. 
Okay. Now, let's go through some of our product knowledge. And we're going to start off with our eye makeup remover. So our eye makeup remover, you would use a few drops on your fingertips. Give your client a lovely eye massage. Okay, bit of pressure points. Roll the fingers between, no, roll the lashes between the fingers. Give them a little massage and then wipe it off with wet cotton pads. Now, your eye makeup remover contains your essential fatty acids. So it's not just an eye makeup remover, it's a treatment within itself. So if you have a client that is concerned of crow's feet, then um, I would encourage her to use the eye makeup remover first and then use the eye contour or the eye essence. Reason being is because your eye makeup remover is full of vitamins and essential fatty, essential fatty acids that is going to nourish that area and really focus on the hydration. So I would say to my client, Mel, I know you're really concerned about your crow's feet, but I think it's important that we don't use any cleanser around that eye area. And even if you don't have eye makeup on, I'd really like to give your eyes a little bit of a cleanse with the eye makeup remover. Reason being is because it contains your essential fatty acids. So therefore it's going to lock moisture within the skin. It's also going to help plump those fine lines and increase the hydration. Then we're going to lock it in with your eye contour cream. So it's like a little serum for the eyes, but obviously not everyone would need that. It, that would just be for your clients that are really dehydrated and they're really um, concerned about crow's feet. Hydrofloor cream cleanser. Now your hydrofloor cream cleanser is for those sensitive reactive skins. Very hydrating. It contains your hyaluronic acid, but it also contains your lotus extract. Now your lotus extract is rich in vitamin C and it helps to reduce inflammation, but it's also focusing on brightening the skin. Obviously our hydrofloor cream cleanser contains no allergic essential oils. So it's not going to flare up any redness. If anything, it contains your omega-6 and omega-3. So it's really going to help to restore balance to the skin, lock in water, repair that protective layer. So the reason why we use this in our facial is because it's all about strengthening the skin's barrier. Because if we go back, If we go back to who this treatment is for, it's for a sensitive skin. It's for restoring the skin's barrier. And it's all about increasing the hydration. So your Hydrofloor Cream Cleanser is the most hydrating cleanser you can get when out of all of our ranges, okay? I've got a question for you. If you had a sensitive skin, obviously they could use another cleanser. What cleanser could that be? Gel. Hibiscus. Yeah. Hibiscus gel. Yeah. What cleanser would you not use on a sensitive skin? The Centella Cream Cleanser. So the Centella Cream Cleanser, normal to dry or normal to combination, please make sure you stay away from a sensitive and reactive skin. It's got way too many essential oils and um, it'll flare up that redness. Okay, moving on to our resurfacing peel. Now, in this treatment, we use 
the resurfacing peel twice. So it's a double peel treatment, okay? I don't have the steps in front of me, but I just had to think, I just finished one before I jumped online. So the, the first peel that we use in this treatment is the, re, the SC resurfacing peel. So I want you to get familiar with these ingredients because it's very different to a chemical peel. It is not a chemical peel. So we are not going to get flakiness, redness. It brings the skin's pH to a 1.8. Now a chemical peel does bring your skin to a 1.8, but the client has to then go into hiding. So the resurfacing peel, we can treat all skin types, acne, rosacea, scarring, anti-aging, uneven skin tones. We have two types. We have our professional resurfacing peel and our retail resurfacing peel. Now the professional resurfacing peel they both contain your 10% glycolic, okay? They contain, so your glycolic is derived from the sugar, the sugar cane and it's focusing on exfoliating your top layers. So it's unclogging the glue, basically. So it's great for um, clogging, acne, uneven skin tones, and it helps to remove buildup. It also increases brightness to your skin. It helps to stimulate the fibroblasts, which will then stimulate collagen and elastin. The second natural ingredient is your sugar maple extract. Your, your sugar maple extract is a powerful AHA. Excuse me for a second. Alicia, can you just answer that? I think he wants to come around and fix it. Sorry, guys. So the natural ingredient is sugar maple extract, which is your powerful AHA. So we've got glycolic and we've got AHA. So it promotes collagen smooths fine lines and wrinkles, increases blood flow, and prevents breakouts. Our bilberry extract. Now, this is one of the ingredients that's going to focus on repairing your skin's barrier. And the reason being is because it's packed full of your antioxidants. It helps to fight free radical damage. And it's a great cleansing ingredient. And the last two ingredients that we'll be focusing on is your orange and lemon extract which is packed full of your vitamin C. It contains your citric acid. And your citric acid really focuses on unclogging the pores. So your vitamin, your vitamin C, your orange, your lemon, it's all about brightening, unclogging the claws, the pores, and helping to clear the skin. So it has skin clearing properties, whether that be blackheads, milia, etc. This product is safe to use while pregnant. Clients can come in and have this treatment once a week. And they could also use the retail product at home once a week instead of a granule exfoliant. If you've got an acne client or a scarring client or an uneven skin tone client, 
I would definitely give them the resurfacing peel to use once a week at home. So the five natural ingredients, bilberry, sugar cane, sugar maple, orange, and lemon. And we would use a healthy five cent piece on our fingertips, circular movements. I normally sort of keep moving it around and we leave it on for three minutes. Now you must take it off with a hot towel twice. So hot towel, remove it, a nice clean hot towel again to remove it. The next step in this treatment is the aroma peel. Now the aroma peel is our lactic acid peel. Works very differently to our SC resurfacing peel. Our lactic acid is more for surface peeling. So you can use this as a standalone product or you can layer it after your microdermabrasion or you can use it in this treatment straight after um, the SC resurfacing peel. So this is a 20% lactic acid and 20% lactic acid and it contains parsley. Now the parsley increases the circulation into the skin. So it's great for clogging, but this works on the different spectrum. So this gives your skin a pH of four. So now we're working with alkaline and acidic. So we're getting the best of both worlds, which is why we're layering this product. And the clinical studies show that with the, with the um, aroma peel, um, it also improves the wrinkles by 55%. It also helps to increase the hydration by 23%. So we've got the best of both worlds, SC peel, aroma peel, both of them together. Once again, remove with a hot towel. And you'll notice that with our peels, we can remove with a hot towel because they're not chemicals. Stem cell universal lotion. Oh, this isn't in the treatment. We'll go through it though. Okay. So the stem cell universal lotion contains your Centella Asiaticus stem cells. What is Centella Asiaticus stem cells? They are much more powerful than vitamin A and vitamin C. They are a potent antioxidant. So they have the ability to reverse damaged DNA. So if we go back to our training days and we think about free radical damage, Free radical damage is where we are missing a, a neuron from the cell and it causes this, the area to discolor. So the stem cells have the ability to neutralize that free radical damage. Containing a rosemary, your natural preservative. But what else does rosemary do? Can you remember? Antibiotic. Yep. An antibiotic for the skin. Natural antibiotic, yeah. Yep, it's a natural antibiotic. It helps to reduce the breakdown of collagen. And that's because um, it's it's high, it's a high, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a high antioxidant. It's rich in antioxidant. So therefore it prevents uh, the discoloration. Then the other ingredient is also your pepper jack treat. And what that does is that focuses on reducing inflammation of the skin. So keeping the redness down. So a rosacea client can use this product or a cuparose client can use this product as long as they don't have the tiny breakouts. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, hungry royal water. So how do we tell the difference? You've got your stem cell lotion, which has your Centella Asiaticus stem cells. 
antioxidants, evens out skin tones, fights free radical damage, neutralizes damaged DNA. Hungry royal water doesn't have stem cells. So it cannot even out skin tones. It cannot fight free radical damage. It cannot reduce age spots. But what it can do is it is high in magnesium. The magnesium fights skin disease. It reduces inflammation. It's antibacterial. It strengthens the uh, skin's connective tissue, so it's tightening. And most of all, it increases hydration. So it gives you a longer lasting hydration. So how do we choose who are we gonna give it to? Well, if you've got a client with uneven skin tones and her skin's a bit collapsed, loads of wrinkles, or I call them a sun bunny, give her the stem cell lotion. If you've got a client that has acne, clogging, eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, dehydration, or a normal skin, give her the hungry royal water. Does that make sense? Yeah. Tina? Yeah, most definitely. Could you, could you choose now? Yeah, now I can. <laughs> okay. So the Hungry Royal Water is the biggest seller. Um, if you've got a client uh, and she has no pigmentation, no sun damage, no age spots, just stick to the Royal Water. But if you've got a client that her skin is quite weathered, her skin's, re she's lost all of her fat pads and she's really sort of, you know, she's gone through menopause and it's all starting to mm, give her the stem cells. The stem cells is much more potent. But I have a quick question about that. Uh, yep. If someone is approaching that age, would you use it as a prevention or no? Yep. Yeah? Yep. So if they're, if they're starting to go through menopause, definitely get them onto the stem cell because prevention is better than trying to fix it. Yep. yep. Okay. Hydration booster serum. So the Hydration Booster Serum contains your trio of hyaluronic acid. So focusing on the top layers of the skin so it doesn't penetrate. All it's doing is it's, it's plumping. Then we're going down into the dermis and the epidermis. Hang on, sorry. So we're going down into the dermis and epidermis. So we're hydrating on every level possible, okay? With the trio of hyaluronic acid. Our uh, aloe vera juice that we focused at, on at the beginning of our training. So it's, it's focusing, it's a powerful moisturizer. It is strengthening the skin's barrier, increasing hydration. It's preventing the skin from trans-epidermal water loss. So it's very important because if we just had these hyaluronic acids and nothing to lock it in with, what's going to happen to the hyaluronic acid? Disappears. Yep, it's going to disappear. Yep, okay. So your hyd Hydra Boosting Serum can be used for all skin types other than acne. It doesn't matter whether they're in their 20s or whether they're 70. It's all about increasing hydration, plumping those fine lines and wrinkles or preventing them, uh, strengthening the skin's barrier. Okay, so how do we choose the difference between the hydration booster serum and the lift serum? It's very easy. The lift serum contains your phytoestrogens. What does what is estrogen responsible for in our skin? Menopause. 
Yep. Fur and collagen and elastin. <clears throat> yep. So estrogen stimulates fibroblasts in which stimulate collagen elastin. When we start to go through menopause, it's we lose 30% in either the first year or the second year. I can't remember what it is. I, I should remember. But we lose 30%, let's say, in the first year. So we need to then use products that's going to help to mimic estrogen within the skin to then continue to stimulate collagen and elastin. So if I had a client and she was going through menopause, um, I would definitely can stick with the lift serum. If I have a client that is dehydrated sensitive, I would choose the, the Hydra Booster Serum. It does also contain your Centella Asiatica. So your Centella Asiatica will stimulate collagen, collagen type one, collagen type two. This product is also good for your sensitive skin because we're going to um, lock water within the skin and we're also going to reduce inflammation. Oh, why are we not moving? There we go. Hydrofloor Beauty Oil. So your Hydrofloor Beauty Oil is for all skin types other than acne. So Hydrofloor Beauty Oil is great for while you're pregnant to prevent stretch marks. Hydrofloor Beauty Oil is great for baby massage or cradle cap. But the biggest use is for two to three drops underneath your moisturizer. So your Hydrofloor Beauty Oil is fabulous if you want to strengthen your skin's barrier. It contains your wild rose extract. Now your wild rose extract is rich in omega-3 and omega-6. So therefore it's going to focus on repairing the skin and strengthening your skin. It also contains your vitamins A, C, D and E. So it's all about nourishing, hydrating. And I would get my client to use two to three drops underneath their moisturizer, especially now that winter's coming. It does also contain your hyaluronic acid. Now, how would you choose the difference between Hydrofloor Beauty Oil and the Night Alexa? Does anyone use the Night Alexa? I love it. Yeah. So the night Alexa, number one, you cannot use on a sensitive reactive skin. Okay. We massage with the night Alexa with for the stem cell facial. But if you've got a sensitive client when it comes, um, a sensitive reactive client, when it comes to the massage part in your stem cell, you need to use the Hydrofloor Beauty Oil. The Night Alexa is a very strong product. It contains an ingredient called Elychrysium. Now, Elychrysium is also in our eye contour. So the Elychrysium is known as the fountain of youth. And there's over 500 species of Elychrysium, but there's only one medical grade. And that's what makes this product so expensive. Well, it's expensive at, at first, but you would only use two drops at night. So it's a product that lasts you six months. So Elychrysium regenerates the skin. It delays the cellular aging. So when we're talking about cellular aging and our skin is starting to collapse, we lose our fat pads. So as we age, underneath our eye area becomes quite um, sunken in, okay? Our 
our nasal folds start to become deeper. And that's because we're losing our fat pads under here. They're collapsing. So they're, they're moving. Then we're losing our, de our depth of our cheeks and our collagen. So our muscles are collapsing and our nasal folds are becoming deeper. So what elecrasium does is it regenerates the skin cells and it focuses on densifying the dermis. So if you've got a client where their skin is thinner, it's collapsing, I highly recommend that they use the night Alexa at night, two drops. If they're really bad, I would encourage them to use two drops underneath their moisturizer in the morning and two drops at night. So how do we tell the difference? Hydrofloor Beauty Oil, packed full of hydration, strengthens the skin's barrier, reduces the inflammation, locks in moisture. The Night Alexa densifies the dermis, focusing on strengthening our skin where we're losing our fat pads, Plus it contains our phytoestrogens. So therefore it's stimulating collagen. So two different products, yeah? Our Hydra Calming Mask. So in our facial treatment, we have cleansed the eye area. We've double cleansed with the Hydrafloor Cream Cleanser to increase hydration and to strengthen the skin's barrier. We have then applied our SC resurfacing peel. We've taken that off twice. We've then applied our aroma peel, which is our lactic acid. We've taken that off. Then we've wiped over the skin with our Hungry Royal Water. We've now applied our Hydration Plus Serum with our trio of hyaluronic acid. We've then massaged for 10 minutes with our Hydrofloor Beauty Oil. We've now performed, which I know we can't do right now, but we now performed our cupping method. So our facial cupping method, I don't know if you've seen the video, let me know if you haven't and I'll send you the link. But our facial cupping me method, method is with two sizes of cups. We have our larger cups and our thinner cups. Most of our facial massage is just with our thinner cups. And we would start off with our facial cupping on the forehead. We then focus around the eye area. We focus on our nasal folds, okay? And what these cups are doing is they are opening channels to help penetrate the product even further into the skin. But not only does it open channels, it refines the skin texture. It sculpts the skin. And when we get to our jawline, our neck area, our decolletage, that's when you can actually start to see the sculpting happen. So we massage with our hands for 10 minutes with our Hydrofloor Beauty Oil. Or if you do have a collapsed skin, you could choose the Night Alexa. We then would use our facial cupping technique for 10 minutes, okay, to assist with delivery and to open up the channels. And then we're going to apply our Hydra Calming Mask. Now our Hydra Calming Mask, once again, contains your aloe vera juice. We all know what aloe vera juice does now. It's an emollient, protects the skin from trans epidermal water loss. It contains your shea butter and your shea butter 
is rich in your essential fatty acids. So all about strengthening the skin's barrier, increasing hydration, and then we have our duo of hyaluronic acid. So the duo of hyaluronic acid is focusing on the skin's barrier, so it's not penetrating anywhere, it's plumping, but then we are now going into the epidermis and the different layers of the skin to give us a longer lasting hydration of the hyaluronic acid. We paint a thin layer on our face and then we're going to apply our peel off mask. Our peel off mask is, is mixed with our hyaluronic acid and our AHAs. And the benefits of this mask is it's helping to even out skin tones. It's increasing our hydration. And it's also tightening the skin. Our intensive moisturizing lotion, rich in your hyaluronic acid. It contains your AHAs. But the castor oil is focusing on reducing the inflammation and, and reducing the redness of the skin. So once again, double mask, applying a thin layer, making sure we cover crow's feet, lip lines, etc. And this is just the face. This isn't the neck. If you're doing the neck and deck, you need to charge more. This is just the face. Now you can include the eyes if you want to, if someone's got dark circles or they're quite dehydrated. Apply a thin layer of your Hydra Calming Mask. Mix your peel off mask with your intensive moisturizing lotion. And this will help then to even out skin tones, plump fine lines and wrinkles and tighten the skin. Any questions so far? No? Are you doing one and a half cups of the lotion or three cups? Um, can I just get the lid and I'll show you? Yeah. Oh, it's Jack. Yeah, oh, there he is there. Here's the lid. Okay, sorry guys, it's a bit dirty because I've just done a treatment. So this is the cap of the mask. So that's how what I use to measure. So I do one full of powder and then it's roughly three of liquid. So three parts liquid to one cap powder. Yeah? And then you would mix it very quickly and then apply it over the skin. Now, when I do it, obviously I don't really measure the liquid. I just keep pumping until I get that nice consistency, but you don't want it runny. You want it as if you could use a wooden spatula and you apply a big blob on their nose and then smooth it out. Apply a blob to their forehead and smooth it out. Yeah? Lisa, thank you. I've got a, I've got a client coming in. Okay, Thanks. sorry, I'm running a little bit late. No. Thanks, Tina. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Are you okay for time, Emma? Yeah, I've got five minutes. Okay, I'll speed it up. Okay, so the eye contour, we have our cornflower extract, which helps to decongest. But this is the eye contour that I was referring to that contains your elecrisium. So your, your fountain of use, really focusing on stimulating uh, and densifying the dermis. Hydro plumping cream, your duo of hyaluronic acid. Now your, your humectant in this product is your vegetable glycerin. So this is going to attract water to the skin also. This is a beautiful moisturizer. It's luscious, it's thick, increases hydration, not as thick as the stem cell, 
but it's all water-based. So it's all about increasing the hydration levels of the skin. Your Centella Night Cream. So this night cream is definitely for those clients where their skin has started to collapse. They're going through menopause. This night cream is all about tightening the skin, putting that, um, putting those estrogens back into the skin to stimulate collagen and elastin. It's going to help to plump fine lines and wrinkles. And it's also help, going to help to fight that free radical damage. So how do you choose the difference between stem cell regenerative cream and centella night cream? If they've got a collapsed skin, their nasia folds are becoming deep, they're losing their fat pads, they're concerned about their jowls, it's a bit loose through here, get them on the night cream. If they're concerned about uneven skin tones, um age spots lines and wrinkles put them on to stem cells yeah so the benefits of the centella cupping itself centella facial cuppings with the larger ones and the smaller ones what they do is they stimulate the lymphatic system they eliminate toxins they reduce excess fluid, they help to sculpt, and they open up the channels and encourage the delivery system of the facial products. So therefore, we get a deeper penetration and it adds something a little bit different to your treatments. We do have a video to help you learn the facial cupping, but we're also in the process of uh, videoing a new one so you can see directly onto the face. The facial cupping treatment on its own normally goes for about 10 minutes. You can extend it if you want to, or you can shorten it. It's completely up to you. To help you launch the um, the new line with the facial. We do have some social media tiles that you're more than welcome to use, but we are calling it the hyaluronic treatment with facial cupping because it is all based around your trio of hyaluronic acid. How does that sound? That sounds good. Any questions? No. Anything you wanted me to um, go over? No, it totally makes sense now, the difference between this and the lift range. I can see exactly the difference. So I feel pretty confident knowing what to and who to recommend it to. So no, that's all great. Okay, perfect, perfect. And it will be good when I see you as well, Emma, you know, with the, with the facial cupping. I think yes. for your clientele, it's a winner. Well, let me tell you, since I got the glass facial, it's probably one of my most popular facials now. Like it's just, they are, and the people are coming in saying they don't want anything else. They just want that. They just want that because they're seeing a difference. So I think the secret is with the um, camphor massage. I think that's the secret. Because I did someone that wasn't right for the glass facial, um, but she had quite a bit of congestion, so I end up using that camphor to massage, and it made such a difference. So once I experience that, I know then I can sell it more. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. I know a lot of the feedback um, that we get from a lot of salons is, you know, they're just booming with that glass facial, even for um, even for Mother's Day. They just wanted to promote the glass facial because it's just it, it hasn't stopped since we, we launched it. Wow. And I charge two eighty nine for it. It's not cheap. And yeah. people are coming in that used to having that $150 facials. And I just say, listen, I've got this great facial includes. I just tell them what it includes. I sell the benefits. Yeah. And, um, they go, okay, I'll try it. And that's it. They're done. So right. yeah, 